Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. So before I go into the video, I do apologise about the lighting today. I'm not in an option where I can film downstairs, unfortunately, um, because my children are off this week for half term. So it's awkward to try and film downstairs, um, obviously with them about, and my husband's on his game at the moment. So we are filming upstairs, and the only way I can do it is clip it onto the my tripod onto the window, so you're facing me. So it, my, you can see my face, but the background is a bit dark. But as long as you can see me and my stitching, then that's all that counts. So this is floss tube forty seven, I think. The last time I did a floss tube was two weeks ago and the last time I uploaded a video was nine days ago. Uh, the reason being is because we're just getting out, well, I don't know if I can even say getting over a cold. Me and my husband have had bad colds and chest infections where it's been quite a lot on our chest unfortunately. Um, my son yesterday, he was poorly, he had a stomach bug. Um, it was just a 24 hour thing I think. Um, but yeah, he was really sick, bless him. He was supposed to be going to a party today for his uh, lady friend at school. But unfortunately, because he was sick yesterday, I can't really risk taking him today. So, what have I been stitching? What I've been doing? I've been doing a fair bit of stitching actually. I've been working on different projects. Now some of this you would have seen last time and one of it is a new, um, it's not a new start but I pulled it out my whips and I thought I would work on it. Before I show you those we're going to go into the county cross stitch first because the charts are actually on my pattern keeper now. Um, for those that didn't get to watch the last video, I've now downloaded Pattern Keeper onto my pad. And let me just say, it is a heaven sent. I absolutely love it. So the first one I'm going to show you, which I'm pulling up now on my Pattern Keeper, it is, let's view PDF, it is this one which is heaven and earth it was a freebie design maui princess artwork by hannah disney sorry about the lighting can you even see that i can't see it yeah the lighting is a bit terrible isn't it yeah I'm sorry guys about the glare and it being dark but that's what I've been working on at, well one of the things I've been working on I'm doing that on 25 count easy guide, uh, easy guide or magic guide whatever you want to call it and this is how far I'm up to at the moment on it now it doesn't look as if I've done much but I've actually got a fair amount of stitches on that I did a bit more since I showed you last time. That is how far I'm on it. And up to yet, I have done altogether 1,508 stitches. So that's 0.69% done. So I'm doing well with that. These, the harder to work on when the little ones are off school because I have to have everything up like my lower frame and everything set up and that and obviously with the little ones when they're off um, I can stitch but it's easier just to stitch on something that's um, like printed now the other counted cross stitch it's again it's stitched on now I think this one's 28 count easy magic guide and that is, let's see if I can do it there. You'll be able to see it better that way. That is, sorry about the glare. It's Heaven and Earth, Queen of Hearts by Michaela Sayeta, artwork by Rachel Anderson. 
if you can see that which is a bit dark that is another one that i'm working on now i was working on this on the chart on the pattern i did have the chart but obviously since having pattern keeper i've been able to convert it onto there add it onto there now and it saves the hassle of having a um, chart and having to mark off the chart it's so much easier i just love pattern keeper now now that is how far i've got at the minute on it i hope it's at the minute it looks black but there is actually hints of purples and reds in that i don't know if you can see that is how far i'm on at the minute on that one yeah it's just too dark so how many stitches have i done on that one at the minute now because i've been working off that on the chart i added it onto i had to mark it off on the pattern keeper and i did some more since then so altogether i've done 5800 stitches on that and i'm 1.83 percent done on that one which ain't too bad actually that's really good for me especially with it being a what do you call it especially with it being a counted cross stitch because i do <laughs> because i do a lot of uh, stamped cross stitches so those are the main counted cross stitches that i've been working on i'm really thoroughly enjoying it absolutely love working on those so the next one that i'm going to show you before i do that let me just put this back in here because that was in a bag and if i don't put it in now i'm gonna get it all mixed up so this one now you may have seen this last time i can't remember if i actually showed you or not now i don't think i have the printed picture of this one and if i do it's in another bag somewhere and i don't have the obviously picture to post up on here either so it's a little bit difficult to see this one but if you'd have seen i don't know if you'll remember in one of my unboxings i unboxed a picture of a geisha princess now actually i should could show you the picture in the other corner so that is what she looks like now it's not a great picture but that is what i'm else i've been stitching the geisha princess and at the moment i have got now i did some of the background and then i wanted to test out one of um boogie stitches there is what she does when she has pictures of people and faces she likes to do the faces first to see how they turn out and I thought it'd be a great idea because everything that I stitch, I mostly just stitch the best start with the background. So I did some of the background, but I thought I'm going to try stitching some of the face to see how she turn well, how she's turning out and how she looks. And I must admit, I'm really pleased. Now, obviously, that's the background where I stitched before. I didn't do a whole lot. And the face, if I just fold this in half, that is how far I'm on at the minute. Now, looking at it now in the camera, it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks good off camera. But, yeah, uh, I since I did the last video, I started working on the eye. I did a little bit of the skin, started working on the eye, did the eyebrow, did the lips, completed it. And I've done just under half of her face. And I must admit, I really like that. And it's working out really, really well. And I think you can really tell in a face, as um, they say with these stitches, the more closer it is, the more pixelated it might turn. But the more you bring it back, the more you can actually see the features. And I think that is beautiful. I think a face is turning out absolutely fantastic in that. Now this one was 
a review kit from VIP cross stitch and I'm thoroughly enjoying that one now I have took it out the snap for a while because I'm starting to well because I'm working on something else at the moment and I don't have enough Q snaps so I have to swap and change <coughs> So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that, my chest decided it was going to start off while I'm speaking and doing the video, not a great time. So I thought, so have you all that I'm in to see me and hear me hack and cough, I thought I would just better pause it. So the next one, oh damn, I've left one of my cross stitches downstairs, it's the main one that I've been working on as well, sugar. Could always shout to the little ones to bring it up. We'll see how we go. So the next one I've got. Now this one was sent to me for a review from One Day Saving. Now I totally forgot I had this in my stash. I was looking for something else at the time. And then I found that I had this in my stash uh, that I started. And I thought, actually, I've not worked on that. And I've completely forgot that I had that. Now, this is a Joy Sunday kit, a pre-printed. And it is stitched on. It's actually a 14 count, which is two strands of thread. The previous one that I showed you, that was 11 count. So we've got that. And the rose is called, it's called Charm of Rose. Now, because... I realised that I still, well, that I had this and I hadn't worked on it for a little bit. I thought, I'm going to put a couple of stitches into it. I didn't put too many into it because I think something distracted me at the time. And yeah, <laughs> mommy duties come first, as you well know. And um, harmony duties come first. So I haven't worked a lot on this at the moment. But the bit that I am working on it is the leaf in the corner. So I've mostly stitched all that before. I've just been adding bits down here and stitching around there. You can see how big it is and that's all that I've worked on on that. Because as I said I completely forgot that I had this in my stash. But it was nice to actually work on for a little bit. And I would love, I would really love to be able to work on it some more. Um, but obviously it's timing, isn't it? It's being able to work on your different projects. So that is that one. Now, the other one. Now this is the one that you haven't seen this lately because I've got the this was the original one that I was looking through my stash when I found that rose one because I fancied working on it and I thought I hadn't worked on it in a while I'll go and drop the thing down there uh yeah I hadn't worked on it in a while and I really fancied working on it it is the Mickey and Minnie in the car design it's stitched on an 11 count and it is a 40 by 50 so look at that beautiful beautiful design i absolutely love this now this is the one that i had to start framing up now and that is how far i've got on it all this down here i've stitched that it, obviously it's just hiding because of the Q snap but I don't want to take the Q snap off because I'll have difficulty getting it back on but since when I got it out I've been working on the background here and I'm just working on how far am I in down here yeah I've just got a bit more of the yellow here to stitch in the cream when I've done that I shall be doing some of these squares that I haven't filled out here that I have there I'll do them and then I'm going to be working on this part here and getting some of that done. So that is how far I am on, on that at the minute. Now this one is from FG, FKG Normal. I probably haven't got that right. 
now this kit I brought myself because I saw somebody on Instagram showing it and I fell in love with it straight away and I was like yes I definitely need that in my collection so I went and ordered it and as I said I hadn't stitched on it for a while but I got it out and I started working on it so yeah really pleased with that one absolutely love it I was planning to just work columns but now I'm just going anywhere and everywhere that I feel like stitching so that is that one and which is what's that one oh yeah that's a gorgeous girl I'll show you that one in a second let me just put this one back in got the lego wheel in my bag i've got that in there i don't know so just pop these back in my bag for a minute so the other kit that i've got um i purchased this one myself i bought it when i first started getting back into a uh, stamped cross stitch um, before I knew that some designs are naughty, I didn't know. I didn't know at the time. I just saw a load of stamped cross stitches and I thought, I like that. I like that, I like that. So I got it. <coughs> <coughs> On my throat. So, yeah that one i got that which is the princess a doll princess that is stitched on 11 count ada and it is 104 stitches by 148 now you you might not see a lot of this because i've got it on a q snap but it's on a tiny q snap so <laughs> i'm just stitching the background on this one so we've got, I've stitched the background here and then I moved over to this side and I'm just stitching the yellow background down there. With this one, because it's not a big design, it's only a little one, I'm going to be stitching this colour by colour. I'm going to be doing all the yellow first and then I'll go on to another colour and then another colour and like that. So, yeah, that is how far am I? on that one so it's nice when i want something quick and easy to work on but i can't get something out that's going to take my time so right i need to show you the other one because um it's important i'll show you that so i'll just pause you while i shut downstairs and i'll be back in a second so i'm back now yeah, I showed it to one of the little ones and they went and got it for me. I had to show you this because it's very important. Now, this one was a kit from... I can't remember if it was One Day Saving or VIP Cross Stitch. I think it might have been One Day Saving, but I don't know. I'm not going to say. <laughs> I can't remember. I know it was a review kit. And I have got a note of it in my book, but my book's downstairs like everything else. So this is what I'm talking about. It is like the silhouette, Sleeping Beauty, stitched on 11 count Ada, 40 by 60. Now I'm working on this kit with the Boogie Stitcher. And I will leave a link to her channel in the descriptions below for you to go and check her out. Uh, absolutely lovely floss tuber i just love watching all of her videos <clears throat> she as i mentioned in my last floss tube she contacted me a little while ago and said she was having this kit as a review and asked if i'd like to stitch it together so i said yes definitely so she's working on the purple part and i'm working on the blue part so so far, I've done quite a fair bit on this. I'm quite pleased with it. I was going to stitch on it last night, but I ended up gaming. 
instead no that's strange for me i don't really game i'm not a gaming person but i've been playing harry potter lego but anyway this is how far i'm up to i've stitched all one shade of the blue in the background here now i'm stitching a bit of another shade of blue which will go into the stitches here so i just need to do this bit and to break that up a bit so i'm just not working on that same color blue i've started filling in some of the black down there i'm starting to fill her in now so i'm starting to work on that so i've stitched that as well so for it it breaks it up a little bit so i'm not just stitching on the same blue that i'm stitching on some of the black as well and breaking it up so that is how far i am i am on that at the moment so i absolutely love it thoroughly thoroughly enjoying the design really happy with it it's something nice and easy to work on when i'm watching the tv of the night or sometimes i can get it out in the day so so that is it that is how far i am with my stitching at the moment so i've worked on a few designs the last two weeks not too bad uh worked on mua princess worked on the other heaven and earth designs and i worked on one two about four or five stamped cross stitches as well so that's really good for me um so i am really pleased with that all considering i've had a bad chest as well so that is it i think um yeah reading wise um i'm still reading the ink black heart by robert galbraith galbraith it's good um but it is a very thick large book so it's taken me a bit longer to fin uh, read that one and i've got lots of other books to get through um i've had new ones i've had a couple of new ones for valentine's day today by the way happy valentine's guys so yeah um the, the ink black art was one of my valentine's presents that i had early and i've had two more books um from my husband for valentine's day so yeah absolutely love it so i think that's where i'm gonna leave it for for now um i'm hoping by the weekend well by friday that we're all up and about again because i plan on it doesn't know where but i plan on taking my son out on friday because march we was going to go on a coach trip to legoland in manchester trafford center however my son is unfortunately he's travel sick and i didn't think it would be a good idea to go on the coach with him because i can't guarantee that the travel sickness tablets would work however i found out that they have actually have a lego shop in manchester itself um so <laughs> I did cancel the coach trip which he knows about and he was actually quite relieved because he might looking forward to going on the coach but what he doesn't know is friday he's going to the lego shop in manchester uh it's part of his birthday present his birthday was in january but i put some money away for his spending money um for a lego land so he's gonna he's got it for the lego shop now so he actually doesn't know that he's going this friday instead of march so i'm hoping that everyone's better by then so we should enjoy that it will be a good day out i've just got to think obviously what to do um for my daughter well hers is not until november so i've got quite some time to think about that um but i'll do something special for her in november and then it's mine in may and i'm 40 my 40th in may so i'm going to a spa day with my mother-in-law <laughs> yeah no i can't wait i really can't wait anyway guys i'm gonna get going now before my camera decides to cut out on me so i hope you've enjoyed the video i've enjoyed making it i'm gonna get all this stuff put up